If parking tickets make you angry, prepare to get very angry. I was 88 seconds too long in the post office and it cost me £60. And a ticket might cost you more than you think. I got taken to court for not paying a £1 parking charge and it stopped me getting a mortgage. Britain's parking companies are charging you like never before. Whether you're going shopping, at the hospital or out for a burger. You have to be on the premises, you buy something. Uh, if, I, if I go out and get something, I'm allowed to go out and get something? Uh, not, not at all to go outside, sir. Private parking can cost a pretty penny. You can get charged as much for parking one minute over the time in a supermarket car park as you can for shoplifting inside the store. Tonight on Dispatches, we go undercover inside one of our biggest parking companies. All they care about are the tickets. They wanted to issue, 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 issue. Council traffic wardens are quick enough to ticket you if you break the rules. Now private parking companies are also getting in on the act. Thanks to new technology and a change in the law, business is booming. Just half a million tickets were posted to motorists seven years ago for parking on private land. Last year, that was up to two and a half million, costing drivers more than 150 million pounds. Not so long ago, I parked my car here at my local railway station, paid for the day's parking, jumped on the train and thought nothing more of it. But six weeks later, I was shocked to get a letter in the post demanding £85. Apparently, I'd parked outside the bay and ignored the original parking ticket. When I queried it, they sent me a photo of my vehicle with a parking charge notice slapped on the windscreen. A ticket I'd never seen before. Had I been the victim, of one of Britain's fastest growing industries.